assalamu alaikum students uh, how are you all uh, today the topic is parental care as we have already discussed that uh, in the previous lecture that parental care is actually the taking care of the young ones the care of the eggs and the young ones by the parents from the enemies and from many unfavorable circumstances what is parental care parental care is the care of eggs and young ones by the parents from the enemies and from many unfavorable circumstances right so it means that ke in case of animals the parental care is prominent and some of the species are taking care of their young ones and the egg which is laid by the female as well as they are protecting their territory and they this is the actually the uh, this is actually uh, their territorial behavior to protect their territory to protect their place from any intruder or any case of uh, enemies right uh, parental care it is divided into uh, uh it will be uh, divided on the basis of the different uh, species on the basis of the different animals which are uh, taking care of their young ones some of the organisms are taking care of their animals uh taking care of their young ones while others they uh, in that uh, they lack any uh, parental care in case of fishes the parental care is prominent and actually the majority of fishes are oviparous and they lay their eggs in water or at least where they will be kept wet so in case of fishes uh, those fishes that are oviparous they lay eggs like uh, oviparous are those organisms that lay eggs and uh you have to tell me i have discussed yesterday the uh, concept about the oviparous ovo vivi paris and vivi paris now you have to tell me what is ovo vivi paris right uh this is the type of uh uh vivi parity in which uh, there is uh, the egg which is inside the uh, body of the female राइट आपके पास यहाँ मेजोरिटी ऑफ फिशेस जो हैं इसमें ओवी पैरिटी प्रोमिनेंट है और ये जो एग ले करते हैं वाटर में तो ये इस एग को या तो ये अंडर वाटर एक्वेटिक इन्वायरमेंट में रखेंगे या ऐसी इन्वायरमेंट में रखेंगे जो कि वेट हो there are many kind of oviparous fishes that do not care for eggs once they have been laid that is easy point they may be guarded by one or both the parents they may bury buried it in the sand gravel or they may be placed in the nest or carried or on or in the parts of the body yani aapke paas bahut si aisi fishes hain jisme ya to parental care hai hi nahi fertilization egg fertilize ho jane ke baad le हो जाने के बाद या तो पेरेंटल केयर है ही नहीं और अगर है तो वहाँ पर डिफरेंट मेथड्स हैं या तो वो एग्स को बरी करते हैं या तो उसके एग्स को गार्ड करेंगे बोथ पेरेंट्स और या कोई एक स्पेसिफिक नेस्ट बनाएंगे विद इन दिक्वेटिक इन्वायरमेंट द मेल बाओ फिश एमिया कलवा गार्ड्स द एग राइट नाउ लेट मी शो यू द एमिया कलवा this is the amia kalva amia kalva fish this is the diagram of amia kalva fish that is the uh, fish which is uh, guarded by the male the male guards the egg salmon and trout bury their eggs salmon and trout they actually bury their eggs right uh salmon let me share the salmon fish with you
the salmon fish in case of salmon fish the male guard the eggs and this is the diagram yes this is the diagram of the salmon fish uh, now in case of fishes the amia and the uh, rahu and salmon the male is actually taking care of the uh, fish eggs the stickle back uh, the stickle back gastrostius make an elaborate nest in which the female lay eggs uh, let me show you the stickle back fish that is uh, also very important fish that lay eggs in a certain place and the male will guard that uh, territory this is the example of stickle back fish the stickle back fish will lay egg and that eggs are guarded by the male okay right now uh, you can uh, give the headings first of all the heading should be the definition of the parental care then the parental care in case of fishes and you have to write examples number one example is bow fish number two is stickleback fish number three salmon and trout so they uh, are actually uh, three types of fishes different types of fishes in which parental care is different right now uh, then we have several families of fishes which are known as the mouth breeders actually some of the fishes they place their eggs in the mouth theek to aapke paas mouth breeders mein bahut si aisi species aa jati hain jo ke kya hain mouth mein eggs ko rakhti hain right सो so, वहां पर हैचिंग के बाद उनकी माउथ से बहुत सी फिशेस जो है वो या लार्वा जो है वो हैच होते हैं ठीक है सो दिस इज द डायग्राम ऑफ द माउथ ब्रीडर्स इन दीज फिशेस वन और समटाइम्स बोथ पेरेंट्स इनक्यूबेट द एग्स इन देयर माउथ सो दे इनक्यूबेट मींस के हरारत प्रोवाइड करना एग्स को इन सम केसेस द एग्स मे बी इनक्लोज्ड इन सम सॉर्ट ऑफ अ पाउच the male sea horse have a small pouch with a narrow opening developed in front through which eggs are inserted in these eggs are retained throughout their development so this is very unusual type ke male sea horse ke paas ek pouch hai jisme wo kya karta hai eggs ko retain rakhta hai development tak there are some fishes which are definitely vivi paris in certain cartilaginous as well as bony fishes there is placental attachment between the yolk sac of the embryo and the wall of the ovary duct so in some of the fishes where there is vv parity so there is actually the placenta formation and there is attachment of the yolk sac of the embryo and the wall of the ovary duct this enable the embryo to obtain nourishment oxygen from the mother same is the case as uh, we have done as uh, humans done theek hai uh, embryological development mein placenta se oxygen jo hai uh, provide ki jati hai embryo ko mother body se oxygen jo hai through placenta cross hogi aur embryo nourishment provide embryo ko nourishment provide karega oxygen provide karega in some A placental attachment is lacking. कुछ ऐसे भी फिशेज हैं जिसमें प्लेसेंटा की अटैचमेंट नहीं है बट द यूट्राइन वॉल बिकम ग्लैंडर एंड सिक्रीट एंड एल्ब्यूमिनस मिल्क फॉर दरिशमेंट तो वो फिशेज जहां पर प्लेसेंटा नहीं है तो यूट्राइन यूट्रिस की जो वॉल है वो ऐसी ग्लैंडुलर सिक्रीशन सिक्रीट करेगी जो कि एल्ब्यूमिन की तरह होगा जिस तरह हम एग एल्ब्यूमिन नहीं कहते और मिल्क की तरह की नरिशमेंट एम्ब्रियो को मिलेगी सो दिस इज द केस विद दैट टाइप ऑफ फिशेस इन विच देयर इज नो प्लेसेंटा मेजोरिटी ऑफ फिशेस प्रोवाइड नो केयर फॉर देयर यंग सच फिशेस ले लार्ज नंबर ऑफ फ्री फ्लोटिंग एग्स सम फॉर्म्स इनहिबिटिंग द रिवर्स bury their eggs those that guard the eggs however frequently care for the young ones for some time 
after hatching frequently this duty falls to the male to maine aapse pehle bhi kaha ki ye duty jo hai wo this is the uh, example of few fishes that that have a certain type of a pouch Uh, this is the placenta formation this is the sea horse this is a stickleback and this is the bow fish and this is the fish which is laying the egg and uh, um, keeping them safe on the head region main aapko pehle hi kaha hai ek hook type of region hoga jahan par eggs jo hain wo safe honge aur development hogi wahan par theek hai to uh, this is the case with those fishes in which there is egg laying process so you have to mention uh, at least at least four examples from that okay four not more than that so uh, parental care in uh, amphibians now uh, we have discussed the parental care in fishes now uh, there is the turn of amphibians practically all the amphibians are oviparous they lay eggs and many of them have developed the remarkable adaptations from the protection of eggs and young ones so uh, the parental care is also seen in amphibians that lay eggs that are oviparous amongst the anura anurata a number of species of frog and uh, toads it must be anura i think the uh, the spelling is uh, must be wrong a number of species of frogs and toads construct nest or shelters of the leaves and other materials in or out of the water to lay their eggs acha ab fishes um mai to aapne dekh liya ki kaise development hoti hai aur kaise parent parental care hai kaise protection hai aur male kaise protect karta hai aur oviparity kaise hai aur viviparity kaise hai ab amphibians ke case mein jahan frog aur toads best example hain to wahan there is construction of nest और दी और ये ज्यादातर लीव्स के नीचे शेल्टर ले लेते हैं और अपने एग्स को प्रोटेक्ट करवाते हैं एट सच अ प्लेस द एग्स रिमेन फुली प्रोटेक्टेड अंटिल द यंग वंस आर हैच नो एड इज गिवन टू द यंग आफ्टर दे आर हैच एन इंटरेस्टिंग टाइप ऑफ नेस्ट इज कंस्ट्रक्टेड बाय द ट्री फ्रॉग फाइलो मिडावा एन इंटरेस्टिंग सेनवेगी the females of this species make a cup like nest kya hota hai ki ye bahut hi interesting type of nest ek cup shape nest bana dete hain aur a chamber by give uh, by leaving the tips of several uh, living uh, leaves together matlab glue karte hain uh, leaves ke tips ko glue karte hain such a nest is formed on the branch of the hanging over the water the eggs are laid in this nest and after hatching the tadpole drop directly into the water dekhiye bahut unique type of inki keh sakte hain ki parental care to nahi hai in mein as such lekin egg lay kar lene ke baad ye tree ke leaves se niche एक बहुत ही यूनिक टाइप ऑफ नेस्ट बनाते हैं कप शेप का लीव्स की टिप्स को इकट्ठा कर लेने के बाद ग्लू कर लेने के बाद तो ये हैंग uh, होता है लीव्स से नीचे और जैसे ही एग्स डेवलपमेंट के करीब हो जाते हैं तो ये लार्वा जो है खुद ब खुद पानी में गिर जाता है और फिर क्या है कि आपके पास ये लार्वा चूंकि टेटपोल लार्वा है और टेटपोल लार्वा जो है उसमें गेल्स हैं तो वो वाटर में ही अपनी लाइफ स्पेंड करता है जबकि जब तक कि ये एडल्ट हो जाए देर आर अदर साउथ अमेरिकन एन्यूर विच कैरी द एग और यंग ऑन देयर बॉडी इन मिड वाइफ एटलीस्ट टोर द मेल विंट्स द स्ट्रिंग ऑफ Uh, fertilized egg around his body and hind legs till the yani ye male jo hai wo kya kar raha hai uh, eggs ki protection kar raha hai theek hai ek string bana deta hai winds the string of the fertilized egg around his body and hind legs till the time of the dekhiye yahan par ye this is the best example for the protection of the eggs and they have eggs and the young ones in the individual pits on the back and uh, they uh, there is another example in which froglet is there and yahan se jab cut open kiya gaya to inko broods nazar aaye pouch nazar aaya froglets nazar aaye egg nazar aaya right 
एंड दे आर ऑल्सो गिविंग द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ अ स्नेक कैसे अपनी फीमेल जो है एक्स को प्रोटेक्ट कर रही है और यहाँ पर ये जो फीमेल है ये एग्स वर्ल्ड अराउंड द नेक ठीक है दिस इज दर टाइप ऑफ पेरेंटल केयर विच इज फाउंड इन एम्फीबियंस नाउ यू कैन सी द लीव दैट लीव ट्री ट्री फ्रॉक इन लार्ज सिटिंग ऑन द टॉप पेरेंट गार्डिंग द एग्स राइट एग ले इन दी फोर्थ ही मास मास की फॉर्म में बरोस की फॉर्म में और टनल में जाके ये क्या करते हैं एग्स वहां पर इकट्ठे होते रहते हैं जब लार्वा हैच होता है तो वो वाटर में जाता है फ्लोटिंग फॉर्म नेस्ट ऑन दी वाटर ठीक है सो दिस इज दी अनदर टाइप ऑफ यू कैन गिव टू टू थ्री एग्जाम्पल्स फॉर दैट द फीमेल ऑफ साउथ अमेरिकन टोट पीपा अमेरिकाना डिवेलप अ सीरीज ऑफ पिट्स इन द स्किन ऑफ द बैक which du uh, during the breeding season becomes soft and spongy the male plays and fertilizes the eggs in these pits to male kya karega wahan par sperm release kar lene ke baad us egg ko fertilize kar dega they are glued by a sticky secretions over each pit form a gelatinous lid or operculum इसमें क्या हो जाएगा एक जेलेटिनस लिड बन जाएगी और अपॉर्कुलम बन जाएगा बिटवीन द पिट्स द स्किन बिकम हाईली वॉस्कुलर Each larva develop broad vascular tail. It is supposed that metabolic exchange takes place between the maternal and embryonic tissue in the manner of primitive placentation. It is the good example of pseudo placentation. यानी यहाँ पर जो भी organism ने outside एक वो बना ली थी एक pit सी बना ली थी और organism जो है egg lay करने के बाद जब male ने इसको fertilize किया तो यहाँ पर उसको न्यूट्रिशन ऐसे मिल रही थी कि जैसे मेटाबॉलिक एक्सचेंज मेटरनल ब्लड से फीचर्स को जाती है तो ये कह रहे हैं कि इट इज अ टाइप ऑफ अ सूडो प्लेसेंटेशन यू कैन गिव हेयर एज एन एग्जांपल इन कैडेटा देयर आर सम स्पीशीज व्हिच गार्ड द एग्स द आर्बोरियल सेलेमेंडर एंड इज लेग्यूबरस For example, lay its eggs in cavities in trees or rotten legs or in the holes in the ground. <coughs> so, cave uh, data species it lays the eggs in the holes of the grounds or in the cavities of the trees. In Apoda, the female Ichthyophis embryoma and Hypogeophis deposit their eggs in moist ground near water. These eggs are carefully guarded in folds of the bodies during development and are not left unattended by either parent. Look, here is the in case of a thiophis aphora, they are actually depositing the eggs on the ground and none of them will un leave unattended the eggs, right? the damp body of the parent provide moisture to the eggs and its dermal secretion protect the uh, protect against from fungal growth right i uh, hope that it is clear uh, that was very easy topic and also the important one and uh, you have to just create the headings you have to make the headings of definition explanation and examples and if it is possible for you draw two to three diagrams in in the examination and uh, it, or if you want to make a single diagram that explains the parental care in fishes reptiles and it is enough uh, it's up to you kitna time hai ye aap pe depend karta hai exams mein you have to uh, आपने माइंड में ये रखना है कि कितना टाइम होता है अगर टाइम ज्यादा है तो आप बिल्कुल डायग्राम ड्रॉ करेंगे पेरेंटल केयर इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ठीक है सो आई होप दिस इज क्लियर एंड व्हेन यू वॉच द वीडियो राइट योर रोल नंबर रेज योर हैंड एंड इफ देयर इज एनी क्वेश्चन यू कैन आस्क फ्रॉम मी